from a business point of view, this is a workmanlike budget. The government has made some spending cuts, but nowhere near enough. The government has made some welcome investment in workforce skills, but there's not enough support, especially for the small business community. In the short term, this budget will work, but in the medium to long term, to return us to surplus, we're still going to rely heavily on a fair dose of good fortune and hope. Good fortune that Asia will continue to pay high commodity prices for our goods and hope that the Reserve Bank takes the view that the spending cuts are deep enough to hold off on damaging interest rate rises. The budget initiatives on workforce skills are very desirable, timely and will add to our productive capacity. The budget initiatives on pruning back some parts of the public sector by increasing the efficiency dividend are also very welcome. But the government doesn't do anything of a substantive nature that will really support the small business community, particularly those small businesses being hit by the high Australian dollar. There is very little in this budget that takes pressure off small business on compliance or on regulation or on the cost impact of doing business. In short, it's a workmanlike budget. There's not enough tough love in it, but the government has made some important inroads on the spending and on the skills side. The PAYG tax concessions for this year work out at about $5 a week per business. What are your thoughts on that? The small business community in particular uh, needs the cost of doing business taken off. There's nowhere near enough um, taken off the pressure on businesses in terms of compliance. The compliance burden has continued to increase each year and the tax system continues to be highly complex for small business to transact and manage. PAYG changes don't go anywhere near far enough in terms of assisting small business and generally the tax burden on small <coughs> business will continue to increase in this budget. There is no tax reform in this budget. The government has increased um, the fringe benefits tax over the course of the, uh, the, the budget um, four-year period. Uh, that is a $1 billion increase to the budget. Um, the small business changes on depreciation are a much lesser figure and uh, the government, in an overall sense, is still going to take more tax revenue from the business community, especially small business. What about the, the move to a flat 20% rate on fringe benefits tax? Well, that, that, that should add to business costs, wouldn't it? It will add to business costs. Uh, there's a $1 billion over the forward estimates in the fringe benefits tax changes, half a billion dollars a year additional cost once introduced. Um, whilst business is prepared to have a discussion with government over changes to the fringe benefits tax arrangements, that flat rate and the terms on which the government's proposed it, especially introducing it from today, um, is going to work against the interests of uh, small business and could indeed be counterproductive 